Hey everyone, welcome to Let's Play Harvester. So this is for the month of October. I am i don't know exactly what I'm calling it. Sentai's October Spookies is kind of what I've been floating around. I think I like that one. Alright, you can pick your friends and you can pick your nose. But you can't pick your friend's nose. Okay, thank you, game. That was just, that's weird. Right-clicking on some objects in inventory shows a close-up of that object. Right-clicking on weapons in inventory activates and deactivates them. Press escape to bring up the menu options. You can combine objects into new objects by clicking and dragging them on one another. Sound levels can be adjusted. Screen to dark. Check a photo in the inventory. Look for the special items that will restore your health. After finding required items during the day, night will be the time of mischievous adventures. Double click the left mouse button on an exit to go through. Okay, well. Lots of shit. Let's, uh. Up. I'm gonna up the. Okay, or not, I guess. Password. Enter password. I don't have one. Um, I would actually like to increase my 
mouse sensitivity, but it doesn't look like I can. Alright, so we're gonna do a... <clears throat> okay, that's creepy as shit. <clears throat> Thank you, game. Thank you. Okay, just save. Oh. Um. There we go. Examine the P-47 Thunderbolt. A 148th scale P-47 Thunderbolt with a broken propeller. A hastily glued P-51 Mustang in exact 136th scale. Lots of shit. Examine the wall clock. Oh, hi! I can punch, apparently. One of your typical wall clocks that looks like it's from the 50s. Examine the clarinet. Obviously, some fat high school girl left it there. Wow! Paper doll by the Mills Brothers sits in the turntable. Wow, that that was fucked up. A cheap folding chair such as you, such as you find at swap meets, bingo parlors, and other religious gatherings. Okay, well it doesn't look like there's too much to grab in here. Examine. I assume it would say take when a sexy pinup. I assume it would say take. Okay, it whistled at me. I assume it would say take if it. Uh, was to be took. Seven flannel shirts accompanying, accompanied with the matching blue jeans are hanging neatly in the closet. Okay, well. Oh, this is going to be an interesting adventure game. What? Hey, hey. Who are you? Leave me alone, Steve, or I'll tell Mom on you. Uh, Mom. Mom's in the kitchen, and if you bug me, I'll call her. Look, I just... Do you know me? Wish I didn't, because then you wouldn't be my brother, and I'd have your room, and all the presents at Christmas. Though I will soon enough anyway, because you're a lousy rat. Damn, no, my brother. No, duh. Listen, wow. I don't mean to, uh, bug you, but I can't seem t to remember anything. Will you please just tell me who you are? Mom, Steve is bugging me. Uh, Steve, leave Hank alone right now. Mom! Lousy rat! Why am I a rat? <clears throat> what did I do to you? You went and got all mushy on that girl, and now you're lighting out on me. Well, if that's the way you're gonna be, then you can drop dead. Damn! Brother's a little... jerk. What do you mean I'm lighting out on you? First comes love, then comes marriage. Then comes Steve in a baby carriage. Leave it a what little the hell backwards. What are you talking about? Mom, Steve said hell. Uh, Young man, don't you dare use that kind of language in this house. He How'd just, you like that? <laughs> he just said it too. Because you're lighting out on me to go off with that stupid girl. So tough it. I don't care anyway. Wow. Okay, well, what girl? I don't know what least. girl you're talking about. All summer, it's been Stephanie this and Stephanie that. And now you don't remember? You think I'm dumb or something? Uh, no, I just can't remember anything, like I said. Well, you better remember quick, because the wedding's in two weeks. Oh, shit. What? <laughs> Leave me alone so I can watch TV. <laughs> Getting married in two weeks? That's a weird-looking television. Come to think of it, this whole place looks totally retro. What it do does. You mean retro? All TVs look alike. Uh, sure, basically. But this is one old-fashioned clunker. Old-fashioned? It's brand new. Yeah, but look at the tube. Where's the remote control? What's that? I... Now that I think about it, I can't remember. And what was that you said? About retro rockets? <laughs> retro rockets. No, retro. It means... It means... Oh man, I know what I mean. That everything here is wrong. But I can't picture the difference. Then shut up and quit bugging me. I'm watching my cowboy show. Uh, damn. Okay, well, something's a little off here. Have you noticed that your show is in black and white? What else? Color? On a TV? Uh, well, I... I think I've seen a colored television before. Have not. Quit it or I'm gonna tell. Uh, hey, look at that. Your mother lets you watch this stuff? Sure. This is part of history. What made America great. And besides, 
blood and guts are neato. Neato? Little kids shouldn't watch violence. You're right, this is totally neat. I'm glad you're catching on, Steve. You're not too bad. Well, last you rat. What the fuck is going on? Good. Okay, well, let's go... Uh, let's go talk to Mom, I guess. God, that just looks creepy. Oh, cookies? These cookies are hot out of the oven. Well, take some. Or no, don't punch the ground. Take some cookies. Examine the baby crib. Now, don't punch a baby. A new more baby is sleeping soundly. Okay, well... Let's just talk to mom, I guess. <laughs> well, hello there. How about some cookies? There's plenty of rejects in the trash. Who are you? Damn! That's a fine way to talk to your mother. You're my mother? That's right. Though sometimes I get treated like the hired help around here. I don't remember you. Of course you don't. Until you need your socks washed. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Land sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. So that's my name. Steve. Your uh, name will be M.U.D. Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. Listen, this may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. Sure, and next you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. <laughs> Holy crap, lots of things to go through. Apparently we have amnesia. That's creepy, and our mom's kind of a bitch to us. Huh. Uh, sister? Sister? Shh, you'll wake her. I just put her down to sleep. If she wakes up, she'll just want to eat again. Darn it, I'm busy, and if you think I'm going to play along with this nonsense, you're crazier than Sparky down at the firehouse. Uh, fine. Maybe I am crazy. I can't rule that out. Why can't you just help me a little? Is that too much to ask? Apparently. Now you've done it. Are you happy? Poor baby. There, there. Did your brother scare you? Let me see. Oh, Lord! That wasp woman. She's a monster. That's what she is. Did, did you just smack a baby, lady? Wasp woman? Wasp woman. Tetsu Akram is going to hear about this. I want you to go to her house right now and give her a piece of my mind. I don't know where she lives. Honestly, you can't miss a house covered with paper nests. Steve, you tell her to mind her own beeswax or bite. Golly, I'll take it up at the PTA. Or the lodge. <laughs> Dear Lord. <laughs> what is going on? We're like stuck in some 50s hell. What's the PTA got to do with or anything? Or 40s hell. Show some respect, Steve. The PTA has a lot of cloud in Harvest. We run the charity bake sale, the annual blood drive, and by gosh, we even have ties to the lodge. By gosh. Lodge. What lodge? <laughs> The Hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. It's just the finest place in Harvest, and the most exclusive. What's so great about it? Hard to say, since hardly anyone gets inside. But it wouldn't be so exclusive if it wasn't just wonderful. Uh. Just like the new Reynolds dishwasher with their patented auto-dry process TM. I've never used one, uh. but I know I want it. Instead of sulking around the house all day, why not walk over to the lodge and apply for membership? This is some weird fucking cults. I don't know what's going on. Um, the last thing I want is a fez on my head. Don't be so hasty, Steve. I think you'll find Harvest is a pretty dull place without the lodge. You sound like the membership director. Don't be silly. I just want what's best for you, that's all. No, this is some weird goddamn cult. Harvest is a town unlike any you've ever known. In what way? I don't have time to go into it now. Why not take a walk around town and pester someone else? I'm busy. Yeah, later. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Okay, uh... Wow. 
Wow, I don't know what is going on, but it's it's actually it's actually super creepy. So okay, papers. Let's put the papers outside then. A box full of newspapers. Let's pick Damn them up. It. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Steve. I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? Uh, I guess not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? I'm supposed to? I don't remember. Yeah? Well, try to remember, will ya? Damn! How'd you expect a working Joe to make an honest living? You don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job! So what? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt down. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper out and everything will be Jake, okay? Are you threatening That's me? That's all I want. That and a pair of sneakers. Walking this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got any spare sneakers? Yes, I do. Whoa, that's great. Maybe we could trade. What could you give me? You know Miss Whaley and Principal Harold down at the school? Well, I found out they're messing around with each other in the broom closet. Damn. I can tell you when they meet and trade you some keys that'll let you catch them red-handed. What do you say? Wow. All right. Take the sneakers. Before I give with the keys, let me see those sneakers. First the keys, then the sneakers. <laughs> Nuh-uh. If you're trying to pull a fast one on me, get it. You don't get the keys till I see the sneakers. And that's that. See no. you later, alligator. Alligator? Okay, well, look. I have papers. I... Nope, that's back out. Yeah, that's my inventory. Okay, so that's the newspaper. Um, use newspaper on mailbox. Use paper on... Porch? On disc? Well, that didn't work. Oh, man. Damn it. Okay, well... Well, that didn't work. Okay, we'll put it back in the inventory. Move over. So clicking on me opens my inventory. Okay, and we have 25 cents? Well, that didn't work. Well, Damn that it. didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Okay, well, whatever. I apparently can't put it anywhere. Also, it is apparently spring 1953. All right. Um, an army surplus air conditioner. So are we in like a... Uh, are we on a um, military base? Maybe there are, there are security bars fastened to the window with Phillips head screws. Well, how? Then that's not really secure. It'll, it's full of junk mail, bills, and bake sale flyers. Okay. Well, let's get off this screen. Oh, okay. So it looks like we're in a. Uh, Hit my microphone. Looks like we're in a uh, map here. Okay. Um, okay, I can use my mouse. So missile base. Okay, so we are we are on a mem uh, um um what should we call it? Military base, I believe. Johnson residence, abandoned house. Post office, general store, barbershop. So is this our house? Your house. Okay. So let's go to the Potsdam residence. Is this the place with the bug lady? I'm just gonna walk in. Uh, hi, Mr. Potsdam. There he is, my future son-in-law. And how's he doing today? What brings him to the Potsdam household? Huh? Huh? You guys are actually nice to me. The hell? Well, I'm not going to tell you, look, that apparently I shouldn't be telling people this because they don't believe me. So I just came over to see Stephanie. Oh, you'll have to ask the missus about that. Stephanie's grounded to the wedding. Uh. <laughs> Can't have her changing her mind at the last minute. Not with all that meat at stake. Excuse me? What? What? I haven't seen my father. He's locked in a room. He's not going to die, is he? Like I said, I don't know. That woman's mom tends to him herself. Well, what is going next on? Time you see him, be sure to tell him that I said hello. And tell him that I'm praying for his speedy recovery. And also, would you remind him about the meat? Especially about the meat. Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, uh, if I see him. I must have accidentally skipped something. You should be more concerned. If he dies, then who's going to take over the slaughterhouse? 
Who's going to tend to the meat? I guess as his son, you can take over. Right? You creep me out. So you're nice, but you're fucking creepy. Meat is the foundation of any decent society. Everyone needs at least three servings of red meat a day. And anyone who says otherwise is a commie. Uh. And once you're married to Stephanie, I'll be part of the family too. And your father will give me all the meat I want. <sighs> Kinda makes up for not getting into the lodge. What in the hell is going on? <laughs> What? Uh, Steph uh, Lo Stephanie. Why is Stephanie grounded? Well, don't look at me. Mrs. Potsdam wants Stephanie to study hard for her finals. If it was up to me, you could go straight upstairs, but you know, <laughs> the little woman, you'll have to ask her permission to see Stephanie. Okay. Sorry, Steve. The last thing I want to do is upset you and your father before the wedding. Not with the meat at stake. You will remind your dad about the okay, meat. shut the fuck up about Won't the meat! You? God! <laughs> you're creepy! Tell me about this wedding. Well, it looks like we're going to have to hold the wedding down at the funeral parlor. Oh. Since I'm not a member of the lodge. <laughs> Mr. Moynihan has given his okay. And your father is going to cater the affair <laughs> with plenty of meat. Okay, apparently we have to have our wedding that that we don't know about at a funeral parlor because this cult lodge wouldn't let them in. Moynihan is the undertaker. He also runs the Wayward Hotel. Since he's providing the space for the wedding, you might stop by and say hello to him just to be sociable. But whatever you do, be sure to say hi to your father for me. Uh, Will you fuck the meat? And not my father. Okay, so we're just repeating you, this. Okay. Well, you should, God, this this game is super creepy all of a sudden. Or all of a sudden, it started creepy. But what the hell? Hi, Miss Potsdam. Oh, sorry. Wait. Damn it! I accidentally skipped her first line. You look like my mom, except for your uh, hair. Yeah, she kind of does. I'd like to see... What's her name? Stephanie? <laughs> well, Stephanie is grounded, Steve. Why? I'm sure I don't know. Mr. Poston has sent her to her room, and in her room she'll stay until Mr. Poston says otherwise. Probably until the wedding. Wait, what? He said you sent her to her room. Even though apparently she's old enough to get fucking married, right? You guys have grounded her anyways, somehow. He said you sent her to her room, and you're saying he sent her to her room. What? Oh, Tell me about this wedding. Well, it's set for three weeks. Three? We're holding it over at Shady Oaks, Mr. Moynihan's funeral parlor. Say what? Now, I know it's not a uh. very romantic place. But there's nowhere else to hold it. Thanks to Mr. Potsdam. Okay. You mustn't be too hard on Mr. Potsdam, Steve. He's a disappointed man. No matter how many lodge admission forms uh, he fills out, they keep turning him down. He has a new application in, though. So keep your fingers crossed. If he joins the lodge, you and Stephanie can have your wedding in the Chapel of Love. Rather than over at Moynihan's place. This is super creepy. Lodge. What can you tell me about the lodge? It's cult. Just that they're exclusive and secretive. If you're curious, you want to pick up a lodge application at the post office and take it over to the sergeant at arms. Isn't that a thought? Forget Mr. Potsdam. If you became a member of the order, we could hold the wedding inside the lodge. My, wouldn't that be lovely? Member of the order. It's a cult. Give my regards to your parents. At least you're not obsessed about me. But screw it. I'm gonna here. No, actually, what do you have to say about it? My favorite. What do you have to say? Okay, no, nothing. All right. Well, 
you're both lying to me, so I'm just going to go up there and Sorry. see her. Oh. You'll have to ask Mrs. Potsdam for permission to see Stephanie. What? <sighs> okay, so I can't go up there. Do you have anything Hello, else to say to me? Come to see Stephanie, ha Yes, please. She's upstairs. Go right on up. Just remember, she's... Okay, wait, wait. Now I can go see her? I'm... What? Just because I tried to go up the stairs, maybe? That was the trigger for that event? Whatever, fuck it. Stephanie, please? Help? I don't know what's going on. Oh! Hello! Hello, Stephanie. Who are you? What are you doing in my room? Haven't you heard? We're getting married. So, you're the one. Steve, isn't it? Uh, wait. You, mean, you don't know me? I mean, I don't know anyone. I don't remember anything. How many times do I have to say it? Just one, Stephanie, because I can't remember a damn thing either. Really? Oh, God, I thought it was just me. Okay, this is getting You're creepier and creepier. Can you tell me what's going on here? Those people downstairs have locked me in my room. They say I'm grounded until the wedding. What? Okay, so I can't remember anything. She can't remember anything. My mom is weird. My dad is nowhere to be found. Her parents are fucking strange. She can't remember anything. We're supposed to be married. Everyone tells us we're going to be married. I am super lost. They claim to be my parents. I can't dispute it because I can't remember for sure one way or the other, but it doesn't feel right. I know what you mean. I, I don't belong here. Do you have any idea where you do belong? No, no idea. But I'm fairly sure I don't belong in Harvest. Yeah. I can't remember anything. But I feel in my heart that the woman downstairs is not my mother. She's like this thing. Like a parody. A bad joke with mother as the punchline. Uh. Does that make any sense? It does. I'm glad I'm not the only one who sees it that way. I thought I was going crazy. Join the club. But we can't both be crazy, Stephanie. Either way, something really weird is going on here. I've got to escape, and so do you. Because in a way, whether you know it or not, I think we're both grounded. How cheesy. Super cheesy. It's been hell. They treat me well, but they won't let me leave this room. Not even to go out in the yard. Not until the wedding. I will tell you why. Whatever this wedding is, I don't think it's an actual one wedding. the other for grounding me. They make up different excuses. Different things I did. None of which I remember. So I sit up here. Watch the world outside my window. And listen to the noises in the house. Uh, have you heard or seen anything that might help us figure this thing out? Every morning, a weird boy comes to the house and picks up the paper. <laughs> he doesn't deliver the paper. He picks up scrap paper that Miss Potsdam sets out on the porch for him. Some morning she forgets, and the boy gets furious. He gives me the creeps. I anything agree. Anything else you can tell me? I hear these weird scraping sounds in the bathroom sometimes like something is sliding along the wall claws maybe and mr potsdam i don't like the way my dear daddy looks at me both of them are always watching me especially him that's creepy you don't think they're dangerous do you i think this whole place is dangerous i think we've got to escape before it's too late I agree with you. Escape. Escape? Harvest is a prison, Steve. Don't forget that. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> of course I'm right. Uh, this lodge. What have you heard about it? Everything in Harvest seems to revolve around this damned lodge. This yes. Order of the Harvest Moon. It's a cult. They're responsible for this insane bake sale that's coming and for the Harvest Blood Drive, too. When people talk about the Lodge, it's always in this hushed, reverent tone. Mom keeps telling me that women can't join. 
but she keeps pressuring me to get you to join. She's not the only one who wants me to sign on with the Lodge. That's probably the worst thing you could do. <laughs> you think the Lodge is some kind of trap? I think all of Harvest is a trap. That's true. Maybe joining the Lodge is the way out. Look, why not explore the town a little? I can't get out of here, but if I could, that's what I'd do. Maybe you can figure out what's happening here without going anywhere near the Lodge. You're really afraid of the Lodge, aren't you? I look at that building. All lit up at night, and I get scared. I mean, look at the damn thing! Seem like a harmless bunch of masons to you? Alright, well... Come back and visit me soon, okay? Okay. Wow, so... I don't know what the hell is going on. This just got super creepy. Uh, but, that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Play Harvest. If you guys like this episode, please consider subscribing, thumbsing it up, and sending it to your friends. I would greatly appreciate it for Sentai's October Spookies. Remember, Freaks and Geeks, play more games, and I will see you next time. Have a good day.